I can assure you that national government... This morning, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill provided the closing remarks at the Bougainville Referendum Conference. In his address, the Prime Minister assured the participants of the government's commitment to Bougainville in its work towards referendum preparations and beyond. It is imperative that we address these issues in a responsible manner so that the outcomes truly reflect the aspirations of the people of Bougainville. It is truly fair, free and transparent. According to Autonomous Bougainville Government President Chief John Momis, it was important for both the national government and the ABG to work together in this important exercise for the people of Bougainville. I'm very, very confident that in the final analysis, when the two governments sit down and negotiate, uh, even after the, well, they have to negotiate after the results of the referendum, uh, a, a guided by the peace agreement, at the bureaucratic level, the ABG Department of Referendum plays a critical role in referendum preparedness. Its secretary, James Tannis, has told MTV News that although there are challenges, there are pressing ahead in their efforts. I have not come across any new challenge that we have never faced on the broken bill process itself. The issue of funding, the issue of uh, slow progress, the issue of a uh, uh, bit of mistrust, the, the issue of uh, the need for awareness has been there on Bougainville for, uh, from day one. With Bougainville being a largely matrilineal society, the role of women has also been highlighted as key to the success of the referendum. For Theresa Jaintong, who is also president of the PNG National Council of Women, women on Bougainville remain committed to supporting the upcoming referendum. Our role is now uh, is basically uh, reconciliation uh, from, the, you know, from the family units uh, according to our social structures. And then we are also making sure that... Uh, we protect the outcome um, at all costs. The conference also provided an opportunity for ex-combatants to air their views. Ishmael Toroama, commander of the BRA during the crisis, said that whilst the fighting is over, the people of Bougainville now have the opportunity to let their votes speak in the island's determination for possible independence. <laughs> And by giving them courage and confidence in the international community, in Papua New Guinea, now people of Bougainville, let us see. And by giving me confidence, some of the time you may say, I'm going to talk to you, but you may come up with a big issue. But talk to you, like a man, me like you, bring me come on top. Government is taking this opportunity to bring me come on top, and I'm looking at them, and by rest. Mr. Toroama's sentiments echoed by the Bougainville Resistance Force Commander Donald Hamau. According to Mr. Hamau, the pursuit for independence is one that Bougainvillians are in for the long term. Parliament has the last say, but it won't stop the Bougainvillians to pursue this issue. And we have the upper hand, the Bougainvillians. We, we, are, we made the government amend the constitution to allow the police, so it's already law. You can, you know, change your goalpost, whatever but Bombay won't change.